Have you ever sat there pondering why there are no bridges over the Amazon River? It's quite an intriguing question, isn't it? This magnificent waterway winding its way through the heart of South America, yet void of any bridges. There's a certain mystery to it, a puzzle that needs unraveling. Now you might think it's due to the river's size or perhaps the surrounding environment. But is that all there is to it? Well, you're not alone in this curiosity and today we're delving into the reasons. First things first, we need to understand the basic geography of the Amazon. The Amazon River, often referred to as the River Sea, is the second longest river in the world, right after the Nile, but holds the title for the largest by water flow. It spans approximately 4,000 miles beginning its journey in the Andes Mountains and ending it in the Atlantic Ocean. The Amazon River isn't just a solitary waterway, rather it's a complex network of numerous tributaries, over 1,000 to be precise. These tributaries can be substantial rivers in their own right, adding to the breadth and complexity of the Amazon River system. Its widest point during the wet season can stretch to a staggering 30 miles. Imagine trying to construct a bridge over that expanse. Surrounding this colossal river is the equally impressive Amazon rainforest, often referred to as the lungs of the earth. This vast, dense forest spans over 2 million square miles, that's larger than the size of Australia. The rainforest's remote location, combined with its dense vegetation and diverse wildlife, presents significant challenges to any construction project, let alone a bridge. The Amazon River and rainforest are not exactly in anyone's backyard. The river traverses through remote parts of South America, where the human population is sparse. This remoteness is a challenge in itself. Transporting heavy construction materials and machinery to such a location is not only logistically difficult, but also incredibly expensive. Moreover, the Amazon River is not a calm, steady stream. It is known for its powerful and unpredictable currents, especially during the rainy season when the river swells and floods occur. These conditions would make the construction and maintenance of a bridge a daunting task. So you see, the Amazon's massive and remote nature is the first barrier to bridge construction. Now that we've got a grasp of the basic geography, let's dive a bit deeper into the other factors preventing the construction of a bridge across the Amazon River. Now let's move on to the environmental implications. The Amazon rainforest, often referred to as the planet's lungs, is teeming with life. It's a vibrant, breathing ecosystem where more than 1 in 10 of all the world's species resides. The sheer magnitude of biodiversity here is staggering, with millions of insects, thousands of birds and countless species of mammals, reptiles and fish calling it home. A bridge across the Amazon River, a major artery of this rainforest, would not just be a simple construction project. It would be an intrusion into a delicate balance of life. Building a bridge would mean clearing sections of the forest, disrupting habitats, and potentially leading to loss of species. Furthermore, the construction process itself could create noise and pollution, disturbing the natural rhythms of the forest. The influx of humans and machinery could scare away wildlife and alter their behavior, causing ripple effects throughout the ecosystem. But the impact doesn't stop at the end of construction. The presence of a bridge would likely increase human access to previously inaccessible parts of the forest. This could lead to more deforestation as people exploit the forest for resources or clear land for agriculture. Preserving the Amazon rainforest isn't just about protecting a beautiful and diverse ecosystem, it's about our collective survival. The Amazon plays a crucial role in regulating the world's climate by absorbing carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas. If we further disrupt this forest, we risk accelerating climate change, with dire consequences for us all. This isn't to say that infrastructure development is inherently bad, or that the needs of local communities should be ignored. But it's a delicate balancing act. We need to weigh the benefits of development against the potential harm to the environment, and the long-term consequences for our planet. In the case of the Amazon River, the balance seems to tilt towards preservation. The environmental cost of a bridge appears too high, particularly when alternative methods of crossing the river, such as ferries, already exist and cause less harm. Thus, environmental preservation is a major reason we don't see bridges spanning the Amazon. Next, we need to tackle the economic and practical factors. Building a bridge, especially one that spans a behemoth like the Amazon River, is no small feat. It's not as simple as laying down planks and bolting them together. The cost of such ventures can be astronomical, and that's before we even consider the unique challenges presented by the Amazon environment. 
Bridge construction involves a series of complex and costly stages, from the initial feasibility studies and design, through to the actual construction, and finally to ongoing maintenance, each stage carries a hefty price tag. For a bridge over the Amazon, these costs would be significantly higher, due to the unique challenges of the environment. The Amazon is a volatile and unpredictable environment. Its riverbed is constantly shifting, its water levels can fluctuate wildly, and its weather patterns are often severe. These factors would not only make construction difficult and dangerous, but they would also seriously complicate and increase the cost of ongoing maintenance. Now let's consider the practicality of such a project. Infrastructure is not just about building a structure, it's about integrating it into a wider system. In the case of a bridge, this means roads leading to and from it, toll booths, maintenance facilities, and more. The Amazon region is largely undeveloped, and the infrastructure needed to support a bridge simply does not exist. Moreover, the Amazon is sparsely populated. Its vast expanses are home to small, often isolated communities. The need for a bridge, which would primarily serve to connect major population centers, is minimal. The cost of building and maintaining a bridge would far outweigh the benefits it would bring to the few people who would use it. In essence, a bridge over the Amazon would be a costly and impractical undertaking. The high cost of construction and maintenance, the lack of supporting infrastructure, and the sparse population all make it an unattractive prospect. Hence, economic and practical considerations further discourage bridge building over the Amazon. So there you have it. We've journeyed through the vast expanse of the Amazon, a titan amongst rivers, its size and remoteness making it an engineering marvel to even contemplate. Stretching across a staggering 4,000 miles, it's a colossal challenge. Its remoteness only adds to the complexity, with large portions of the river coursing through nearly inaccessible untouched rainforest. Then we delved into the environmental considerations, a pivotal factor in the absence of bridges. The Amazon rainforest is one of the world's most diverse ecosystems, home to a myriad of species, many of which are yet to be discovered. Constructing a bridge could disrupt this delicate balance, potentially causing irreparable harm to countless species and the overall health of the ecosystem. Lastly, we grappled with the economic and practical factors. The sheer cost of such a project is astronomical and the benefits arguably are not proportionate. The Amazon is navigable by boat for most of its length, and the communities along its banks have adapted to a life intertwined with the river, rather than attempting to dominate it with man-made structures. Each of these factors individually presents a formidable obstacle. Combined, they make the construction of a bridge over the Amazon River a near insurmountable task. It's a testament to both the power of nature and the respect we must hold for it. And that, my friends, is why you won't find bridges spanning the Amazon River.